right? <laughs> Word, Morgan Freeman. I agree. My television uh, wormhole was Storage Wars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I started watching Storage Wars. I hear that can be pretty... <clears throat> It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. Okay. Storage is a big industry. Yeah. A big industry. And so the, it's the thing that, so the, I don't know if you know what the show is. It's they fucking assembled a group of yahoos that are auctioneers, assholes, f- fucking dirtbags that uh, bid on storage lockers that have, you know, that have not had their bills paid. And with the stuff in them? With such, the stuff in them. That is such yeah. a crazy specific thing yes. to base a, a show Wait, on. Wait, you don't get to take your stuff out if you don't pay the rent. If you, you, you pay the bill, at some point they take oh, your yeah. stuff and they it's auction, all they auction oh, that locker off. Yeah. Yeah. With happened, stuff to a, in. happened to a friend of mine. He moved to Mark McDonald. He moved to Japan. And he suddenly had with his bank where he didn't get the alerts. And three months went by. And all of his family stuff, uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of like games, memorabilia, and other things, just... Given to some woman in Oakland, and like sh- she wouldn't even like give him his like family photos unless he agreed to pay X amount. And Wait, do they give you the up. option? Are they like, hey, you got to get your shit out of the locker? I assume that there is some sort of process. There's a, there's a timeline that they, that they you know alert people. Yeah, so if you didn't get, I think the it's alerts like ninety or, days, and like if you don't pay it, or right, get we need to wrap this locker. You know, whatever they, right. you know, whatever the agreement is when you sign it. That that's not the part they get into. Right. By this time, they don't they don't tell you whose locker it is. <laughs> they don't tell you shit. They don't want you to have any sympathy. Yeah, for these well, because people. it's blind. The idea is like right. the, it's like we don't know what's in this. Well, thing. no. So actually, they open the lockers. Oh, okay. Uh, so the the auctions start with them sawing the lock off the locker, opening it up. You don't get to walk inside, so everyone just kind of looks in and kind of sticks their head in and looks around and goes like, and, and then it's all these people just going like, oh, that, that looks like something I could get some money for. Oh yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, there's a MIDI keyboard here, box for MIDI keyboard. That's those things three hundred dollars. And then they just pull fucking numbers out of their ass like, well that's just three hundred dollars right there. It's three hundred dollars in my shop. Like a lot of them have secondhand stores. Well, it's or not per item, right? It's per unit. It's per unit. Yeah. So then you bid, uh, then the, these people bid, and there are a bunch of people there, and I have to wonder, like, if these are even legitimate auctions, because sometimes, or, or how they're cutting it, because maybe, you know, maybe they auction 100 off in a day, and they only show the three that these people bid on, or, or whatever it was, but these people win all the auctions that are shown on the, the show. The one that they're following. And, yeah, there's like, five, it's five different people, and then they only interact at the auctions. So then there's like a little bit of shit talking because they do the reality show like a confessional shot right. uh, in this stuff. It's like, well, if he's going to bid on that, I'm going to bid him up because fuck him. But there's no like there's no real competition aspect to it. So there's no reason for them to be bidding these other guys up for stuff that they don't really want except just to be dicks. Other than just beef. And A&E is probably paying the yeah. all that stuff anyway. So... I, Anyway, so the, there's the, that part of the show where they all bid on garbage, and then there's the part with them sifting through the garbage, and that's kind of interesting. Excitement or disappointment. I was going to ask yeah. you, so like, what's the, what's the draw for you? Where was the point where you're like, yeah, this is, I'm going to keep watching this all day? It just keeps going. It just keeps going. And they're always pulling out, it's, and their cut to commercial is the same every single time. Cause it's oh, all, no! It, it's, like, it's like someone... Like, because they're, they're digging through fucking mountains of shit, and there's yeah. like, oh, there's all these, all these clothes. These are these are worthless. This table's from the '90s. It's worth zero dollars. And then, <gasps> and then poof, and like, <laughs> that's a commercial. And you're like, what was in that box? I must know. And when they Mary, come, you're they gonna come, love they, they this come back, one. I bet they repeat like the last. Yeah. 90 yes, seconds. they do. When yeah. they come back, they repeat like the last four seconds I've, leading up to that moment. I've been watching a lot of this reality show about Mount Everest mm-hmm. on Netflix, and it's the ex- like. I, I have to assume all reality programming is shot. It must cut be. this yeah. way at this point. There's there's, there's got to be like forty percent. Recycled content. Oh no, the, the padding least, that they do in there least. is amazing. It's terrible. So, th- so then th- you know they find all the stuff, and there's always like th- you know two or three of the or you know like two of the auctions usually have something in there. They're like, this is probably worth a lot of money, but I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna have to take it to an expert. Yeah, and then cut th- to cut to fucking a uh, uh, clock store, and there's a guy in there with the clocks going. I found these clocks. They look old. What are they worth? And then the the, uh, the clocksmith. And then, so then this woman looks at the clocks and goes, this one's from, this one's really, it's not quite, it's like a trashy, it's like Antiques Roadshow for fucking total tra- trailer trash. See, but you they know, already, they already like, do that on Pawn Stars, which this seems like a weird offshoot of that. Of the, where that's right. Just, that's yeah, just straight yeah. up like, totally. dudes own a pawn shop, so yeah. people bring in weird shit and they're like, uh, I don't know what this is or you know how much I can give you for it, so I gotta bring in an expert. Yeah. This just sounds like an yeah. A, a, yeah. This is offshoot a, of that. It's all very similar. And there are other storage locker programs on now that are, like, <laughs> stealing this stuff. Yep. So did, it, did they find anything cool? Sometimes. So one of them, uh, one of the lockers had a bunch of, well, I mean, it depends on your definition of cool. <laughs> 
Um, one of them... Uh, tools! Yeah, one of them was fucking not like, oh, this tools, this is all bread and butter right here. This fucking tile's like $20 a tile. This 10 boxes a tile here. We're fucking making money. And at the end, they total up, like, how much money was made. Yeah. But it's not, they didn't actually, it's not from them actually selling the stuff. It's, it's from value, them in the right? locker going, that's 300 bucks right there. Ching, they ring it up. They have a little on-screen thing. Just from them going, like, I get 70 for this, no problem. This is 45. This is just, here's another 200 bucks. Oh, it's like 12 grand. There's, like, fucking nonsense. Uh... But it is so much fun to watch. One of them, they pulled a bunch of like uh, mint condition Boba Fett figures or out of uh, out of a locker. One of them had a fucking safe full of cash. <laughs> so it's like, oh, like, I just bought money. You think that like whoever, right? So yeah, someone must have ended up in jail or dead, right? Because right? <laughs> you know, wouldn't you just go down and go like, oh, I need to pull fourteen dollars out of this fucking safe so I can keep this locker open for another thirty How days? Much cash. Like twelve hundred bucks or something. Damn. There was another one that was. Uh, it was a, a storage locker. It was like an indoor unit that looked a lot like that one that we we got that couch out of. Yeah. Um, and there were just garbage bags full of fucking trash. But then there were like dollar bills in there too. So then people they were like rooting around, going, "We found a hundred bucks in here. Just loose cash. I don't know." Was the some safe- people were clearly in a hurry because they're just bags full of garbage <laughs> in with like whatever kitchen stuff. Like they didn't even. Just took everything out of this place. Like must have must have had to move out of a house or something in a hurry. Was was the same? See, that's the problem. Is is like I feel like before this show starts is the far hoarders. more interesting show. I, the, I guess yeah. I guess hoarders is the right. show before this show. But there, there's something about like like trying to piece together that mystery in your head while they're looking around the lockers. That yeah. you're just like, okay, this one has four. One of them. Had four ATVs and a pinball machine in it, and they said because there's there's legal action still pending, so the pinball machine's not part of this auction. Which I don't know, I don't know how the fuck that works. <laughs> there's a lean on this pinball I machine. Guess. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's not. storing maybe, it for someone else. Yeah, any of the previous probably. owners ever show up? No, never. I, I never. mean, by the point, sometimes you know, they're pulling some family photos out of there. They blur that stuff out, but uh, you know, can't, sometimes can't get clearance for that shit. Yeah, and they don't. They do. They definitely do not delve into the like negative aspect of of this That's stuff. Like of like, dirt that is this person dead right. or what's going on? Is in, in jail? Is in jail? Right. Those guys don't yeah. care. The storage. Exactly. Yeah. The no, storage. They, the storage soldiers do not care. Right. So then they've spun this off into Storage Wars Texas, which happens in Texas instead of California, and it's just like five other dudes, and it's like the exact same template. It was like, here's the quirky guy. Here's the hardcore auctioneer, but that one's got like two guys that are gigantic fat hicks. Yeah, uh, you know, to kind of fit that, and then a kind of to be sassy, like, trashy lady to be like, "Hey, look, guys, Texas." Yeah, basically. I, I wonder if you could at this point go down a, a lifetime's worth of reality shows to piece together the path of the reality show, like starting with like. You know, I'm sure there's a birthing reality show, right? Where it's like, mm-hmm. you know, and then there's marriage reality shows, Cradle right? Cradle to Grave reality. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fun. And then there's Bridezilla's like. Bridezilla's goes to Real Housewives. Right. Goes and, then, to, and then there's somebody who's been on a reality show who got a lot of money. And then that person's on the reality show for hoarders because they bought a lot of stuff, but they're kind of trashy and they just fill up their house. Then that stuff goes into storage wars. And then you find somebody else who's on Antique Roadshow who just bought that from the storage, you know, from the pawn shop thing. And then you literally follow, not a person, you follow the item. Like this baby rattle was on this like birthing reality yeah. show, and then it wound up in this locker, and then it wound up. We just, on we're just gonna need more cameras for that. Was, you know, just, we just need you're, you're basically trying to create the Truman Show at that point. I just, no, you don't need cameras. I want to watch them all and find the item. I want to watch. I want to. You you're saying that there is there is some somewhere there is a thread through all of these shows. It was through like, line through all the reality. And like, so like a, fucking Rosebud. Yeah, I'm like Top Chef. This. Dude's gonna be. That's the ring that was fucking on Storage Wars. That was in somebody's locker. And like watch it go, uh, and put a tra- like a radium tra- like a tracer in something. Require you to pl- to watch far too much reality television. Yeah, Ugh. I don't like reality television. Ugh. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. I'm gonna plant something. <laughs> Just plant it. Yeah. Just be like, watch this thing go. Watch it. It's a bet. One penny. I uh, I bought a 3DO. Great. <laughs> that happened from a locker. From a storage from a, yeah. <laughs> storage That's locker. how you're going to tie this around. Sure, I, bought a, uh, I bought a 3DO. It comes with... It still hasn't shot. I just bought it off the internet. Mm-hmm. It's coming. 